guys, so if you know me, you know I love comics. And not just superhero ones either, I love comics pretty much as a whole. You can have cosmic battles that determine the fate of the universe, a zombie apocalypse that slowly turns humans into the real monsters, and Michael Sierra fighting against his girlfriend's ex-boyfriends in Captain America. The point is, you can have a lot of variety when it comes to comics. However, I believe there is an aspect that makes these worlds as cool as they are. And it's not just the story, but also the art. Now look, I get the art isn't everything, it's normally like 15%. Just look at one. Yes, that's his name. Please do not correct me. He managed to make two great pieces of storytelling of anime history with his work on One Punch Man and Mob Psycho 100. And is he a great artist? Well, he can he can draw better than me. That that's something, I guess. However, I believe a comic can also be good if it has fantastic and introspective artwork. Then it can add something of great importance to the story. Now, to start off the video, I want to begin by saying that just because artists draw similar art doesn't make them bad artists. They just do something I like to call the standard, which is basically all art that looks the same. I'm mostly talking about Marvel and DC books when I'm talking about this, but indie comics can do it too, do it too sometimes. The standard is good artwork, but it doesn't really add anything to the story. Great art, but not fantastic art. Take this Spider-Man comic cover for example. It has good artwork, but it doesn't really do anything spicy, if you know what I mean. It doesn't add anything interest in terms of look. It doesn't really pop out at you. If the comic cover didn't really have Spider-Man, I, I honestly wouldn't buy the book. It doesn't really add much. It's just one character. That's it. Now compare this to this My Hero Academia cover. Even though the manga is in black and white, all the characters are different colors, they have their own look and feel, and it just looks really fun. I know manga is an acquired taste. Please don't hurt me, please. I, I have a wife and kid. But just basing off the cover, I think I would want to get the... I think I'd want to get the My Hero Academia one more. Very often, a comic's art can kind of reflect the story and the reader because of it. Take dark stories like The Black Hood. This comic is kind of like Watchmen in that it's more realistic and a dark take on superheroes. The art reflects this perfectly, giving it a dreary and atmospheric look. Other comics like Hellboy and Polar do this too, but make it more rough and gothic, as to add flavor to the story. Then there are other stories like Scott F <laughs> Pilgrim. This is one of my favorite comics of all time. This comic is able to express so much color and charm despite it being in black and white. This is basically manga except being red fluids. I have not watched the movie, but from what I've heard, it is actually really good and captures a lot of elements from the comic. It's basically a good live-action anime adaptation. And we don't have too many of, uh, of you know, those now, don't we? However, I think the best thing a comic can do is draw the reader to the story because of its magnificent art. I like to cite two good covers for this, Daredevil Unusual Suspects and Monstrous. The Daredevil cover is one of magnificent art. This cover is literally a painting. I'm pretty sure this was drawn by Alex Ross, who's best known for his work on Kingdom Come and Marvels. And there is like so much color and vibrancy in here that I would be surprised if this was sold at an auction. The other cover is monstrous, which is something I'm very impressed by. While I would say that the Alex Ross cover looks a bit better, this book does something that, until reading, doesn't seem possible. Its ability to combine styles. Normally, I don't read many comics that combine Western and Eastern storytelling. Scott Pilgrim, I guess, is probably one of them, but it seems to borrow more elements rather than complete halves of the Eastern storytelling board. And that's why I like Monsters so much. This, flawly, this story does both flawlessly and adds to the story's beauty and tear. That's why people like Neil Gaiman, the author of Sandman, has so much great things to say about it. In the end, you might be thinking, Cosmic Creeper, the comic story is what important. Yes, that is true. You have to have a good story to sell a comic. I'm not going to argue against that. 
but the art of a comic can really help give you more of an opinion on what you like. Marvel and DC are gro both great publishing companies, but sometimes they seem to bank more on sales rather than their work, sometimes making fairly mediocre comics. That's why I like indie comics as well as Marvel and DC, they can sell their own stories and not rely on any lingering plot threads. And in the end, I believe a comic story is important, but sometimes the art can reflect that of a comic and make it a household name. That's what I believe in.